Uh, hi. In this video, we will talk about important terminology in rest assured. So as part of this video, we will see some important terminology before uh, actually jumping into the automation of your API using rest assured. So what frequently used some classes, interfaces, methods that we will introduce in this video, then it will be easy for us to use the same thing in while automating your APIs. Okay. So rest assured. It's a class. Okay. It's a class in rest assured. And then request specification. So this is an interface. Okay. This is an interface. Response. This is also an interface. And then filter. So this is also an interface. JSON path is a class. Okay. So rest assured is a class. Request specification is an interface. Response also an interface. Filter also an interface. JSON path is a class. And then you have XML path. This is also a class. After this, and there's some terminology, okay? So request or response logging, okay? And authentication, and then matchers. And after that, uh, you have query parameters and then path parameters and then headers after that you are a building okay so after this we will see few methods first we'll see whatever we have written here so what is rest assured so rest assured is a class okay rest assured is a class in where rest assured library. So what is the purpose of this rest assured? This is the main entry point for using rest assured library. Okay. So this is the main entry point. So what it will do, it provides methods. Okay. It provides methods to set global configurations what are those such as default base URI base path and port that's it means with the help of this rest assured you can set base URI base path port these kind of information how can you do that rest assured dot base URI is equals to you can mention the your base URL okay so this is one means with the help of this uh, dot base URI we can set the URI at the same way if you want to set the path so rest assured sorry port rest assured dot port equals to 800 just an example okay. this is how this is the entry point for using your rest assured and it provides some methods to set the global configurations like base URA, base path and port something like that okay so now we'll see request specification this is an interface in rest assured so it is an interface that represents the specification for a request It's a specification for a request. Okay. So it will allow you to set headers, query parameters, body, and authentication 
details, etc. Okay. With the help of this request specification, you can set the headers, query parameters, body, authentication, something like this. Okay. So how we can do with the help of this given dot param. So you can say key one means first parameter. You can say how many parameters you want. You can set the parameters key one comma value one comma you can say header you can set the header also header you can say content uh, type content type what kind of content type so application slash json these are all just an example how we can set this one okay so this is how you can specify this information parameters headers all these things with the help of request a specification interface. We will see everything in our upcoming videos, how we can use this uh, rest assured, request specification, response, everything. Okay, so response. Response is also one of the interfaces in rest assured library. So it represents, okay, it represents the response obtained after making the request after making the request or making a request. Okay. So what it will contain, it contains details like, so it contains details like your status code of your response, response body and headers, etc. Okay, contain details like status code, body, had there's a, this kind of information it will contain and it will provide methods to extract it provides methods to extract and validate different parts of the response so it has some methods to extract and validate the response okay now we'll see filter. Filter is also one of the interfaces. Okay. So this is an interface used for specifying filters that can modify the request or response. Okay. So it's the interface used to uh, specifying the filters that can modify the request or response. So filters can be used to logging, comma, error handling, or other customizations. Okay, with the help of filters, you can log the you, you can perform logging or error handling something like that. Okay. So JSON path. JSON path is one of the class for parsing the JSON response. So with the help of JSON path, you can parse the response that come uh, that came in the form of JSON. Okay. So it allow easy extraction of data from the response using JSON path. So with the help of this, you can easily extract your response. The same way, very similar way, this XML path also. It's a class for parsing the XML response. Okay. If your response in the, uh, comes in the form of XML, then to parse that uh, means to extract the information easily, you can use XML path class. So the same thing, allow easy extraction of data from the response using XML path. Okay. So this is all about XML path class. And then next request or response logging. So logging the details of the request and the response can be crucial for debugging. 
if you want to debug something with the help of this logger you can debug your code okay so you can you have log dot all one of the methods log dot all so what it will do logs all the details of the request or response okay so log dot if validation fails so when you want to log it log details only if validation fails if validation pass then no need to log anything okay so authentication there are some classes and methods for handling authentication such as uh, wo auth so such as like you know basic authentication and then sorry wo auth authentication and then wo auth to etc okay and then matches so the it's a class these are some classes class that provides various static methods okay various static methods for performing assertions on the response with the help of that you can perform some assertions so these are used to so validate status codes response body response body content and uh, headers etc okay you can validate the status code response body content headers etc so how we how it looks like equals to has item or items and contain string etc this kind of matches you will have and then just an example assert that body in the body i am asserting some name that name equal to equal or equal to or equals to we'll see that tom so once you get the body that body name equals to tom or not i'm very fine just an example so then what are query parameters so it will use uh, with the help of query parameters you can add query parameters okay you can add query parameters to the request how can you do that dot query param then parameter name comma parameter value okay this is how you can add query parameters in the same way path parameters also adding path parameters to the request okay adding path parameters to the request how you can do that with the help of what is that method dot path param okay and the same way param name comma param value okay so adding path parameters so the same way headers what about it headers will be used to setting headers to the request for the request okay setting headers for request and then how we can do that dot header so header name comma header value this is how you can set the headers so uri building how you can build the uri so with the means we can be building the complete uri for the request okay how can you do that so if you say base path 
we can you need to provide the path in the form of string so what it will do set the base path for the request okay and the same way base url in the same way string url what it will do it says the base URI for the request. Okay. So all these things we will see in our upcoming videos when you are automating any API. Okay. And there are few methods are there. We'll, we'll see those methods. So one is given. What is the purpose of given? Starts building a request specification. Okay, with the help of given method, it starts building a request specification. So when, what is the purpose of when? It executes the request. Then, what it will do then? It validates the response using matchers. Okay. Get the comma, post comma, put comma, delete comma patch okay so these are all different type of http methods so what is the purpose of this perform specific http methods okay so body body method it sets r retrieves the request or response body okay says the sets or retrieves the request or response body header okay header sets or retrieves headers and cookie okay sets or retrieves cookies with the help of cookie method status code so get the status code of the response with the help of status code method you will get the status code of the response status line so get the status line of the response and then assert that so with the help of this assets response details using matches okay so these are all the different methods which you frequently use so when you automate your rest apis using rest assured so these are all some a few important terminology means uh, classes or interfaces so rest assured request specification response filter json path xml path request response logging authentication matches query parameters path parameters headers uri building these are all there are n number of methods and uh, interfaces classes but very frequently used or helpful things we are discussing here okay so some of the methods given when then get post put delete patch body header cookie status code assert all these things okay so this is all about some of the important uh, terminology means uh, classes methods interfaces in the rest session okay so that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like the video share the video and uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, put your thoughts in the comment section thank you